guys welcome back to my channel it's day eight day eight it's day eight y'all and today um we're going to be doing eight christmas movies that we used to watch as kids and you probably still watch them now because netflix is popular all of those streaming apps are popular so these are just a few that I used to watch and I still watch, but let's get into the video and don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, follow me on my Instagram, all of that. And if you're new, welcome to the game. If you're, over, if you're already a member, do not go set tripping, you know the vibes. Alright, so let's get into the video. Okay. So, the first one is Home Alone. Home Alone, Home Alone 2. Y'all already know. That little kid, he used to be, I mean, he grew up now. We all see the movie, Facebook, all that. But, like, he grew up now. But in that in that um movie, he used to be mad clever. Like, I was, like, eight, and I was not even thinking about how to set up a, a robber or somebody who tried to rob my house. Like, what? He was mad clever and I used to love that movie. And like um his mother not never got picked up by CPS. Like hello. What? Like if it was my mother, she would get locked up. But you forgot your child twice on both the vaca vacation? Like what? How do you But that used to be my movie? That's the first on my list. And then the second movie is the Polar Express. Now, if you have not seen this movie, I don't even know. We're going to pray for you. Because this movie right here, The Polar Express, that is like the greatest movie out there. Especially around Christmas time. I know that when I was in elementary school, they used to like bring us down to the auditorium and play that movie like every time. I don't, I don't know why they picked that one, but that movie was amazing. They used to play that on Disney Channel. Y'all already know, Disney Channel used to be lit with the movies, y'all. Like, you gotta get one if you've never seen Polar Express. All right, number three is The Grinch That Stole Christmas and the original one, not the one now that they just released. The Grinch That Stole Christmas before that first one with Jim, 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 Jim no, it wasn't Jim Carrey. Who was it? Maybe it was Jim Carrey. I don't know. But he played The Grinch. And that's a great movie. But be honest, now I see why The Grinch is The Grinch. Being this age, around Christmas time, I see why The Grinch is The Grinch. Like, I know y'all feel me on that one. So that was a good movie. And if you haven't seen that one, I think it's on Netflix. Maybe the new one is on Netflix, but I think they're both on Netflix, and you should watch it. Um, Elf. Elf is with Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell. I think that's what it is. And he, I forgot how it started, but he was an elf, and he um went into the city, like the world. He was just trying new things and stuff like that. Like that's a, it's a funny. Let's go. Will Ferrell is mad funny. Like any movie he's in, just like Jim Carrey, they're mad funny. Like, definitely, definitely, you should watch that. Um, the next movie is The Nightmare Before Christmas. That movie is like spooky, but it's like not that spooky. I mean, when I was younger and I used to watch it, it was kind of spooky. But now. It's a cute little movie that y'all should watch. And I don't care how old I am, I'ma still watch the movie. So really. Um the next move the next movie is Last Holiday. It has Queen Latifah in it. And I like that movie. It's been a while since I've seen that movie, but I definitely recommend watching it. I would describe it, but I don't exactly remember everything that went on in that movie. So definitely I should watch that movie. The next movie is 
Oh, the next, okay, so the last one is Tyler Perry's movie, all his movies. First of all, no racial, but if you're black, you already know the vibes. <laughs> you already know the vibes when it comes to Tyler Perry's movies because he has so many of them, plays, actual movies, all of this. And they're mad funny, especially the Medea one, when you go to jail, all of that stuff. Um, I know for a fact when it's Christmas, when it's Thanksgiving, when it's New Year's, whatever holiday those movies are on, it's not even just Christmas. My favorite one is the is the Diary of a Mad Black Woman. That's my favorite one out of all the Tyler Perry movies. Is that one? So I think y'all need to. If you have not watched any Tyler Perry movies, you need to get it together because first of all. It's always on. There's always a Tyler Perry, movie, Tyler Perry movie on. Like, why did I get married? Why did I get married too? Like, all of those movies is always on. BET, all of those. Like, y'all really need to get on it. Because Tyler Perry, he did his thing. Like, and he's still doing his thing. Y'all have to watch his shows. Like, The Half and Half Not, Greenleaf. Wait, not Greenleaf. I don't think he created Greenleaf. I don't think he created Greenleaf. But another, another, like, show is on i think it's on or whatever y'all need to get on it um but yeah like that's all the movies that i used to watch and i still watch i'm sure there's more but i i don't i don't watch those movies as much as the ones that i've already made so thanks for watching my video i'm sorry it's so short today but that's all the movies i have and i wanted to share that with you guys so thanks for watching. Um, I'll be back to y'all tomorrow for day nine. Um, love y'all. And oh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that every time I post a video, you get the notification. Thank you. Come again. Bye.